Hi, I'm gonna be playing with some new stuff today. And this is not like a dedicated video to the, what you can see up top, it's the Kaleidos, what's it called? The Sultry Neutrals or something? Smoky Nostalgia, Smoky Nostalgia Collection. I'm going through the few pieces that I did end up picking up from that collection. And also we're gonna be playing with the Star Wars Darth Vader palette. I felt a little bit tricked, bamboozled, if you will, with this palette when they first announced it because the first pictures that they released of this palette is not at all what it actually looks like. Like you can see there's some like really rich and deep colors in here. The first few pictures that they had posted of this was not this at all. Like this dark red burgundy shade down here was like a light brown in the pictures. Like here, let me post the, the pictures up here of what they had and this is the, the comparison. Like it's bullshit, right? Like this is not the same picture at all. Jesus, get it together, ColourPop. But anyway, I'm excited to be playing with this. I really actually enjoyed this color story, the way that it end up, ended up turning out. I think it's quite unique and does actually fit. I was playing around with some swatches and this, this Super Shock, I think is probably the most beautiful Super Shock that exists. At least in my collection, it is the most beautiful and amazing super shock. It's like a pinky taupe color and it's stunning. It is absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna be putting that all over my eyes today. Yeah, let's just get started, I guess. And then the actual products from the Smoky Nostalgia collection from Kaleidos that I picked up were two of the lip clays. I have, it's the two lighter shades. So I have Skinship and Cold Smoke. The way I can describe these colors, um, Skinship is a very like neutral, warm nude kind of color. It's, is it warm or is it neutral? It's more neutral than it is warm, but it is like a, like a peachy brown neutral color. And then Smoke Show, the best way I could describe Smoke Show is if Gucci or Royal Scandal had a little sister that was like more rosy leaning, it's a little bit more like pinky rose than a Royal Scandal because Royal Scandal is like a true like gray taupe, like a, like a gray brown. This is like a gray rose. So if you like, if you like those kind of taupey colors, you'll really like Smoke Show. And then finally I have the blush, one of the blushes, the Joyride blush. So I got the little brown one. Um, because I just really loved the look of the model and the way that she was wearing it in the pictures. And I knew that that was the one that was gonna be my kind of color. And it's the only one that was like super unique in my collection. The other ones, like there was a bright red one, but I don't think that I would wear that often enough to merit getting it. So I only got this one cause I knew that I would wear it a lot cause it's a very neutral blush and I love neutral blushes. I wear them most often. Some of my most used blushes are neutral ones. Yeah, this worked for me and I really wanted to try it. The packaging on this is just amazing. It's like plush. So there's like, it's like a pillowy quality to the top of it and it's covered by like actual real lace. So it actually feels there's like a fabric. You can hear there's a fabric and the the name of the of Kaleidos is like pushed up on this like metal stuff, this metal material, which I hope doesn't tarnish. Like I hope it won't tarnish. It's just fantastic packaging. I think they did a really wonderful job with this and I um, can't wait to put it all over my face. So let's get started with the eyeshadow palette. So I don't know if I'm gonna stay a little bit more neutral. I'm gonna play around with the reds. Let's, I have a bit of an idea. I have a bit of an idea for what I wanna do. I'm gonna take my Odin's Eye FR1 brush, which is like just a big, massive, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go into the shade Imperial Forces, which is this like lighter brown or lighter taupe. It's very taupe leaning. Like, I don't know if you need this, if you already have that's taupe because there's a lot of like similar tones in there. Cause if you don't care about the reds and you're more in this for the taupes and the like cool toned brown shades, then I don't think you need this. Just get that's taupe and you'll have a lot more to play with. But if you like Star Wars, if you like Darth Vader, and if you like these colors and this is something that's unique to your collection, go for it. This is definitely unique to my collection. I'm actually kind of glad I got it. My original thought was like, oh my gosh, this is so boring. Like you saw those original pictures that they posted. That was boring as hell. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Cause it's just, those pictures were bad. It was a bad palette in those pictures. If that had actually been the palette, I would have been super disappointed. But as it is, those pictures were not correct. 
and we have a better palette than we thought we were gonna get. Well, let me zoom you in since I'm doing my eyes. I've only really swatched the, um, the shimmers in this palette. I haven't swatched any of the matte, so I don't know if this is their good formula or what, but so far it seems like their good formula. I'm super impressed with it so far from the little that I'm using it. Okay, I'm gonna go in, do the same thing. The lower lash line, I'm just smoking this the hell out. I'm not really being careful. I'm just smudging this all over my freaking eye. Okay, then I'm gonna go in a little bit more concentrated with my Morphe M441 brush and the shade of Battle Station, which is just that little darker taupe in there. And let's see the difference between these two colors. I have a feeling it's actually gonna be more different than it looks in the pan. Oh yeah, that's darkening it up. I'm focusing this in the crease and in the outer corner, kind of creating a bit of a C shape, using windshield wiping motions to really get that, that shape that I want. I'm definitely kind of dragging it out towards the brow bone, because I don't want it to be a rounded shape, I want it to be elongated, because that's just the look that works best with my eye shape. So I already have pretty round eyes, well, round-ish. They're like in the middle. They're like round, but long, I don't know. I can't describe eye shapes. Really like that, that blends out beautifully. Like I'm not having any trouble with patchiness. It's blending out really nice and blending into the other colors really nicely, or at least the one other color that I used. I'm gonna throw a tiny bit of that just in the outer corner here and blend that up and into the shape that we've already created because I don't want it to be disconnected. I want it to be cohesive, you know? I'm not doing anything super exciting with this look. It's kind of my go-to, like this is my kind of go-to shape and like standard application. Um, I'm gonna go in with Sith Lord, which is this dark burgundy at the in the bottom corner. This is like a, like a burgundy berry color. It reminds me of the What's that shade in the Elsa palette in the bottom right corner, like the very dark red in the outer corner. And this is an, uh, my Luxie 237. It's just a very small blending brush. And I'm focusing this in the outer corner. I'm not taking it too much into the crease. And I'm just patting it in just to get that depth and blending it up and out towards brow bone, or I guess the temple. I'm basically blending it up and into what I did before. This is turning very purple and I'm using circular motions to blend that out. And then like, not windshield motions, but back and forth with the brush, just to blend that up and out towards the temple. I did not expect this to turn purple, I have to say, <laughs> but I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna bring that a little bit down along the lower lash line. And this is a super simple look. Like I'm not doing anything super out of this world amazing for the shape or placement. It's just pretty standard. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of dark side, which is this like black with the red shimmers in it. I'm gonna put a little bit on the edge of my brush and just pat that in just to get as much depth as I can get out of this palette. This is like, really blending out nicely. It's weird because this shade, when they first posted their pictures about it, it didn't look like a black. Like I swear those pictures were so, I don't know what the word, what's the word for it, misleading. Those pictures that they posted in the beginning about this palette were so freaking misleading. Like it was not a good representation of what this palette actually is. And I'm honestly just very glad because if we'd gotten that palette instead of this one, I would have been very disappointed. As it is, I'm not disappointed. I'm actually very impressed. Let me know also if you wanna see like a three looks with this because I can definitely do that. Right now I'm just not because it's already kind of old news. I have other three looks videos to film already, but if you wanna see that, let me know in the comments below and I'll do it. If that is what you want to see, I will do it for you. Okay, I'm gonna go with some of the shimmers. Um, let's do Gone Galactic, which is kind of, kind of taupey brown. I'm gonna put that in the outer corner or the outer portion leading into that purple. There is fallout when using this with your finger, I'm just warning you. Then my favorite shade, I'm gonna use the Stormtrooper Super Shock. Oh, it's so soft, so soft. Oh my God, I 
I love that. That super shock is just to die for. And I'm put, putting that basically all over because it's just so pretty. And it, it feels so soft in the pan. Like it's just excellent. I'm trying to get it in there without making a mess because having nails makes makeup not the easiest thing to do. It looks like I have sparkly tears now. Cause who doesn't want sparkly tears? I'm actually, okay, I'm gonna take some of that Stormtrooper shade again. And I'm gonna put a little bit more on the lower lash line. Cause it's, it's actually just really pretty. I actually really like the look of that on the lower lash line. Just brightens things up a little bit. You can see my messy as hell kitchen behind me. I'm just gonna go in there with this brush. It's just my little pencil brush from Odin's Eye and just clean up the edges of where I put those shimmers. And then, because I can't do anything normal, I'm gonna take that shade, I am the master. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. Oh uh, yeah, yes, yes, excellent. Now, if you're following along with this, you don't have to do this step. I just like it. I just like putting color in my inner corner. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I actually like extending it a little bit up and over the crease line. Just kind of outlining the inner portion of the crease with that color, blending it into the other shades. I really like that. And this is like a good way to kind of step up any look if you really want to make it a little bit more editorial looking. Just take a bright, fun color, put it in your inner corner and bring it up and outline your crease with it. It's just a really good way of doing that. Cause it just, it's just different, right? It just adds a little bit of extra lift to your, or elevation to your eye look that makes it look super intentional and different. I like it a lot. I love this, this shape. Now I think I am going to add some eyeliner. So I'm gonna use that dark side shade just on an angled liner brush, whichever one you wanna use. And I'm gonna go in. Oh, shift over. Oh no, 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 don't go under the couch. I feel like I haven't dropped things in a while in my videos, which is like, mm, good, I guess. Add a bit of a wing. Um, I don't want it to be super obvious. I just want it to be. Right, this side I can't really see that well. Yeah, that side I can't really see that well, but that's okay. There's an implied wing. It didn't turn out as nice on that side as this side, but it's fine, you can't really tell because it's already pretty dark over there. So yeah, that's good enough. I like it. That's the eye look. I'm gonna go put on some mascara and I'll be right back. And there you go, that is the eye look completed with mascara. I used the Rare Beauty mascara on my top lashes and the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean on my bottom lashes. All right, so moving on to the Kaleidos products, I'm gonna use the blush first and I'm actually using a Kaleidos blush brush to apply it. Again, this is the shade Joyride. That's what it looks like. It's like a really pretty like brownie peach color. A lot came out of the pan with just a few taps. That's cute. Ooh. You can definitely use this as a bronzer if you want to, I'll say that. It's definitely brown. Oh, I like that a lot. I love the color and it blends out really nice. It's not like, not the most pigmented ever, but yeah, if you wanna use this as like a blushy bronzer, it works really nice. And I'm bringing that up and onto my temple because I like that like 80s blush look. I'm trying not to get it in my hair because blushed hair is not a look I want to go for. That's a really pretty color. It's not like the most pigmented, but I'm not upset about that because it's buildable. Like I'd much rather it be like buildable and not come off super saturated in one go because it's harder to make a mistake that way. So yeah, I much rather prefer something like this that is less saturated at first, but buildable, and you can like build up to that saturation. But again, this is the neutral blush, so I don't know about the other ones, but I really like this one. It's super nice. And then I think I'm gonna go with Skinship. I'm gonna keep this a little bit light on the lips just because I think it'll suit this look more. I'm gonna let my eyes kind of stand out for themselves. And this is the first time I'm actually trying this lip formula. Um, I've never really used it before. I, I, I've never like, ordered any of the lip clays because 
they were kind of like old news by the time I wanted to try them. So I was like, oh, I can't really make a video out of that. So what's the point? I have enough lip products, but when this collection came out and they launched new lip clays, I was like, this is my opportunity to try this formula. So here we go. It definitely reminds me of the Rare Beauty lip formula because it's very moussey. I like that color a lot. I'm just patting out the edges a little bit, kind of blurring it. It feels powdery. There's really like almost no transfer. What the hell? How have they done this? Cause it doesn't feel drying. Yeah, it doesn't feel drying. It feels kind of like moussey and powdery, but it's transfer, well, almost transfer proof. I'm sure if I like rubbed at it, it's gonna come off, but like I'm, there's like a little bit of transfer, but you can see there's like almost nothing. Yeah, at that time, nothing really came off. Wild, this is wild. Cause it's not a dry formula. Like I feel like there's still hydration on my lips. That's nice. I really like that formula. Cause it does dry down. Like I can feel that it's dried down, but it's not dry, if that makes sense. It feels more powdery than it feels dry. It's such a strange formula. I love it. I love it though, and I kind of want more of them. But that color is so pretty though. It's like peachy and mm, brown. I think it works really well with this look as well. And with the Joyride blush, it's like the perfect match. So if I were to get two products from this collection, it would be the Joyride blush and the Skinship um, lip clay. The cold smoke is nice, but it doesn't go as well with the blush. Like it's a really nice color on its own. Um, and I'm sure that it's gonna look fantastic on, on the lips. I just like looking at my lips in the viewfinder cause that color is so nice. I love it. I love it. Yeah, this is a winning combo. This blush with these lips, winning, winning combo. Oh, do you want to see me apply cold smoke? Do you want me to try cold smoke on? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to rub this off. Hopefully I don't make a mess. Yeah. So when it rubs off quite easily, let's apply cold smoke. Now I don't have anything left on my lips. Yeah. That one's darker. You can tell. Yeah. That one's way darker, but it's pretty. I love that. It doesn't move much. Like when you move around, like when you rub your lips together, it doesn't really move a whole lot but I'd be worried what would happen if I just keep doing it. Cause I'm the type of person who likes to rub my lips together when I have stuff on them. So I'm, I'm kind of worried about how it would look progressively throughout the day if I just keep doing that. But this also seems like the type of product that could be easy to like blot. So you put a little bit in the middle of your lips and then you just blot it out. Like it feels like it's that kind of product that actually looks really nice with the eye look. I'm going to keep it there. I think, I think I'm going to stay with the darker lip. And I kind of take it back. Originally the color I thought was akin to the a Royal Scandal from Gucci. Um, and it is kind of, cause it has that like gray quality, but it's darker than that color. It's a lot darker than that color. If you apply it full, like I did, if you put it a little bit in your center of your lips and blot it out, I'm sure you'll get more uh, like a lighter look to your lips, but I just put it like full blast on my lips. And then this is just how dark it came out, but it's so pretty. It's really, really nice. But that is it. Those are the products that I wanted to try out today for the first time. So it was just to recap, we have the Kaleidos blush in Joyride. So this is from their new Smoky Nostalgia collection. I believe these go for $22 Canadian. I should look at the prices of these before I start filming my video. I really should. I know that the lip clays are about $15 and 30 cents Canadian. So maybe like $12 us. How much are you? 23 Canadian dollars, 18 us dollars. So it's 18 us dollars, 23 Canadian dollars. The website automatically does the conversion. So yeah, it's 23 Canadian dollars, 18 US dollars for the blushes. And then the lip clays go for 12 US dollars and about 15 something Canadian. And then the eyeshadow palette is 16 US dollars from ColourPop. This one does apply for any um, promo codes and stuff. Like I thought that it wouldn't because it's a collaboration, but it actually does because I was able to use one on it. So yeah, the promo codes do work on this palette 
Um, it is $16 regular price, but you can get a little bit of a discount. I do not have one, but a lot of different creators do. I really liked everything that I tried out here today. Um, I would probably recommend all of them. The eyeshadow palette is really nice. It's good quality. It blends out really beautifully. I want to play around a little bit with it more to see like how many different kinds of looks I can achieve with this palette because my main concern right now is like, am I just going to be able to get the one look out of this palette or can I push it and make a bunch of different looks using this palette. So that is my main concern with it right now. But for the look that I created today, really loved how it came out. Beautiful quality, no complaints. That super shock shadow that they have in there is one of the most beautiful that they've ever come out with. And I'm so glad that I have it. It is such a pretty color. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Actually, let me swatch it for you. Cause I know you only saw it on my eye, but let me swatch this shit for you. Cause it's so nice. So nice. Okay, do you see that? Uh huh. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, it's like a peachy taupe. It's so nice. I'm like so obsessed with it. It's so nice. It's the it's the kind of product that I know when I really like a product because <laughs> I'll try it, I'll swatch it, I'll do whatever, and it'll make me tear up. <laughs> and I know I really love something when that happens. Like you can see, I'm kind of like tearing up. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. This is such a pretty color. I'm also like really close to my period, so I'm like super emotional and everything makes me cry. But yeah, worth it just for that super shock. It's so nice. But that is it for me today. I don't have anything else really to talk about. Um, those were all of the products that I wanted to try and I'm glad that I did try them. I love them all. Thank you as always for hanging out with me today. Um, all of my links and things will be in the con in the description box below. If you're all, if you're watching all the way to the end of this video, throw in a, um, I don't know, either a plant or like a snow emoji because it's still snowy outside here and I'm kind of over it. Throw a little like plant emoji or a snow emoji in the comments. Um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.